Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Tanika and for today's video I have a drugstore haul. <sighs> These are seriously one of my favourite videos to film because I love buying new makeup and especially when it's affordable drugstore makeup. So if you love these videos, make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more, I will link my latest hauls down below. I have one from Priceline and one from Chemist Warehouse. Mm -hmm. Okay, starting out. Oh my god, I feel like I've been waiting so long to haul some of these items. First up, I have the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder, and this is in the shade Light. So this says that it sets makeup and creates a soft focus blurred finish. So I've heard really good things about this and how it leaves more of a soft finish to the skin, not like a really dry powdery finish. I'm assuming it's going to be quite similar to the model's prefer mineral finishing veil. It doesn't come in as big of a container. How many mils is this? Oh, grams, sorry. It comes with 6.8 grams and I did pick it up from Kmart for $19. I'm really excited to test this out. I think the packaging is really sleek and I'm hoping it's going to give a really beautiful finish to the skin where the powder just sets the makeup in place but also gives a little bit of a sheen. Next I picked up some new goodies from Priceline. I have the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer and this is in the shade, hmm, oh Palm Beach Ready. It's right on the front there. I also picked up one of their highlighting powders in the shade Blossom Glow. Now the highlighter does look quite pink toned, which, eh, look, it's not my favorite, but this highlighter was only $8. Such a bargain. Let me just try and open it and swatch it for you. Look how beautiful that is. Oh my God, okay. It looks so silky. Oh, it feels nice too, not too dry. Hmm. Oh, yep. There we go. Looks quite glossy. Oh, I'm excited to try this. It doesn't feel chalky, so uh, thank God there's nothing worse than a cheap chalky highlighter. And then let me get into the bronzer here. Oh, it actually looks quite glittery. E. Let's see. Oh, don't know about this. So that is the shade there. It looks rather orange and look at that sheen. It's almost glowier than the highlight. Okay, I'm not sure about that one, but I'll definitely test it out. I'll keep you updated. And then I picked up this Cheek Kiss Liquid Blush from Milani. Now Milani's prices aren't as cheap as I had hoped they would be in price line. This blush was $22. And I got the shade 140 Rose Romance. Again, I just chose this from looking at swatches online. Ooh, I don't think I did very well. That's a very, very dark blush. I don't usually go for blushes that dark. God damn it. <laughs> That's all right. Again, I'll test it out and I'll see. I'm sure I go in with a light hand. I should be able to sheer it out. <gasps> I swear that looked like way more peachy in the swatches I Googled. Anyway, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> now this product I am really excited for. It's by Revolution and it is one of their Reloaded Highlighters in the shade Just My Type. Now I have been eyeing off these highlighters for quite a while because they look so beautiful in the pan. And I just was a bit unsure because like I said, I hate a chalky highlighter. But I watched Taylor Wynn's Best Drugstore Highlighters video recently and she recommended this so that was the selling point for me. This shade does look more like my type than the Wet n Wild shade. Oh yeah, that is glossy. I think I'm going to enjoy this one a bit more than the Wet n Wild, we'll see. Next, I finally got my hands on the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. I feel like it was ages ago now in one of my videos, I was talking about Essence Mascaras and wanted to know what the best one was because they do have quite a big range and a lot of people suggested this one. It was always out of stock, but I finally got my hands on it. I'm pretty sure it's only around $7. 
It does come with quite a basic wand, but I'm hoping it's going to do amazing things for my lashes considering the reviews. Next, I picked up one of the Maybelline City Bronzers, and this is in the shade Medium Cool 200. So I did already have this bronzer in my collection, but in a different shade. And I found that it just pulled really orange on me, and I love the formula. It's a matte finish, it blends really easily, but it was just, the way it was pulling orange just didn't look that good. So this bronzer was on sale recently, so I thought I would pick up another one. Let me compare the shades for you. So this one here is Light Cool 100, and this is the new one, Medium Cool 200. So as you can see, it does look a little deeper, so I'm hoping this just doesn't pull as orange. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but you can see that this one does have a slight orange tinge to it, or like just a bit more warmth than this. Next, I picked up some setting sprays. I have the Savvy Healthy Glow Mist. Now, I haven't heard anyone talk about this or heard any reviews, but it's a healthy glow mist, and I'm all about a glowy setting spray lately, so I thought I would give it a go. It was only $10. It says it's a lightweight, hydrating facial mist with aloe vera oh, and rose extract. I'm really not a fan of that rose scent, but it says it sets makeup in place and leaves the skin with a healthy, glowing look. I absolutely love my L'Oreal Shake and Glow setting mist. This leaves a really beautiful glowy finish. So you've got big shoes to feel savvy, but we'll see. Next, I picked up one of the Rimmel Insta Fix and Go setting sprays. Now, I did end up picking this up from Woolworths because they were having a big sale on makeup and I got it for $7, which is such a bargain. This is my absolute favorite setting spray for keeping my makeup in place. It smells like cucumber, which I love. It is so refreshing and it just does what it's meant to do. So I repurchase it over and over and over again. And then lastly, I was sent some products from BYS. I have the Zest face palette. This comes with a mix of eyeshadows, blushes, and highlighters. And oh my goodness, this is so vibrant. It looks so fun for the summer months. I'm actually really excited to dip into these shadows here. Look at these fluorescent shades, and then it comes with a really beautiful shimmer. <gasps> I think I could create a really fun look with this. And then they also have the hydrating spritz with vitamin C. So this one isn't a setting spray, it's more of a hydrating mist. It says that you can use it after cleansing or also throughout the day, and it just helps to repair damaged skin cells and hydrate dry skin. So I think this will actually be really nice going into the warmer months. I get so damn hot at work and this will be nice just to give myself a little ch -ch -ch freshen up. Oh, can't wait. Oh my God, I almost forgot. One of the most exciting things that I have is the Emco Beauty Ultra Stay Flawless Foundation. Emco Beauty has been really popular lately and I was so excited to see that they were releasing foundations. I'm actually testing it out today, so there will be a full review coming soon. But this is described to be a medium to full coverage. It's said to be a very long lasting. So I'm excited to be putting it to the test and seeing how it goes. First things first, the shade is a bit too deep for me, so I have had to lighten it, but I'm used to that. I'm very fair. So if you're interested to see how this foundation goes, stay tuned for the review. All right, well, that is all for today's haul. If you enjoyed watching, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. As I said, I will have my previous drugstore hauls linked down below if you want to go binge. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're having a fabulous day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.